Hey guys, Pizza here. In this video, we'll have a look at Palace of Ghosts featuring Kalitzberg Water Build. For in depth skills and runes analysis of Kalitzberg, you can check out my previous video, which I'll leave the link in the description box below. As always, feel free to adjust anything if you have a better item or card available in your account. And now let's get into it. First, for stat allocation. Since there are some changes for the damage multiplier for Kalitzberg, so I changed my stats build. Max out STR first to boost attack damage, then max Agi for the damage of Wish Flower, and then allocate the rest of the stats to Int, because Magic Attack also boosts the damage of Kalitzberg, and then Bit of Vit for survivability. As for Rune Placement, I recommend 7 over 7 for this build, for the additional DPS from the Summon Kalitzbergs, and the 30% damage reduction while the enemy is under Doom. For the attribute runes, equip all the red and yellow that will increase your damage. As for the arcane rune, I equipped War of Preparedness, White Blade, and then Indestructible Rune. Now for equipments, again feel free to adjust anything. First, here's the first line of my offhand, armor, garment, and shoes. And then other options for armor are, soul cage, to also boost magic attack, with damage and magic damage plus 15%, or damage to large size plus 20%. Or other shore patrol with elemental random attribute for a total of 35% water damage, because Kalitzberg have high ignored death and penetration anyways. And then for the armor card, I inlaid it with swordfish card to lower the damage of the fire ground skill, which is the key for Kalitzberg to survive in this instance. As for other card options for offhand and garment, if you have Thor card or Moonwolf card, you can use that instead for water element damage. Then for accessories, aim for high first line of water damage for maximum damage output. For weapon cards, if ever you don't have Drake Star card, you can use two pieces minor star card instead, but make sure to use Expert Precision Stone. As for headgear, other option is Homestead of Snowy Owl, for more water damage and then an additional 10%. Damage increase since the element of the MVP is fire. And then for back gear, if you don't have Chicken Axe, other option is Rathgrissy Fallen Feather, for 10% chance to trigger Lex when using skills or Rock and Roll Cactus for skill damage and cooldown reduction. And then here is the Shadow Equipment side. Lastly, before we proceed to the Instance Run, here is the Handbook Depot. Before starting, make sure to consume Mystic Frozen and Meal Bees. And then for food, I used six pieces of original wool juice for more penetration. And then I also consumed Ice Controlling Alloy for maximum damage output. Then cast Prepare for Elite, which have Flower of Desperation, Knight of Glory, and Incarnation of Rose. As for my auto skill slot, I have Echo of Petals, Memory of Petals, and then PFE. Usually my skill rotation goes like this, Echo of Petals, then Memory of Petals, and then Wish Flower. So when you use Wish Flower, it will automatically pick up nearby Rose Petals, resulting in more DPS. So I advise to manually cast Wish Flower and Whisper of Rose, so you can use it at the right time. By the way, when you use Wish Flower, quickly reposition yourself by moving away from the Fire Ground skill. So the damage that you will receive from the Fire Ground skill is just for a couple of seconds. Use Echo of Petals for sustain because of its rune which restores max HP. We will just forward this since the instance run lasted for a total of 8 minutes and 40 seconds, which is about a minute faster than the Saitama AFK build. I made this one because a lot of players have more access to Kalitzberg, since Saitama is a collab class. As for the white shield of the MVP in its HP bar, just keep on hitting him until it's gone, so you can damage his HP again. If Ice Controlling Alloy wears off after 5 minutes, use Ice Mastery Alloy for consistent damage. Okay. 
Overall for Kalitzberg, just be aware of the fire ground skill and avoid getting close to it. And when your HP drops, just use Echo of Petals for sustain. And if ever Wish Flower is still on cooldown, just get the petals on the ground to turn it into Memory of Petals. For continuous DPS because of the core level 4 passive, which is when a petal is picked up or removed it will cast Memory of Petal at its location. While also recovering your HP from this passive skill, guard the spring day. And I think that's all for this video guys. Don't forget to like or subscribe to stay tuned for more. See you guys again next time and thank you for watching.